full resol full resolution tonight, Sean Glander. Oh man, I didn't hit all the buttons. Dang. As compared to what resolutions were we, we go? Le less than full. Yeah. So we got an option tonight. Full resolution. 1080p. I said yes. So you should say yes. I, I don't know if we're gonna look better. I need all the help I can get over here. You do. That mic sounds good though. It is working. It is. it is working. We're here. And uh yeah, we're gonna do a show. What do you think about that? I'm excited. You should be. We have one person watching, and they are also excited. Probably Andrew Madsen. That'd be my I'll guess. bet it's our number one fan. Kyle Waller, are you are you watching on Air Dude Johnson on Facebook? Maybe it was Kyle Waller. Freaking Kyle Waller. That's all right. There's more now. Yeah, there's there's people coming in. They're 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 gonna watch they're, this episode that has zero plans for it. John Glenn. They're ready for fun. They are. They're ready for fun. We're gonna do trivia. We're gonna give stuff away. We're gonna do an episode. Gosh, I don't know. You ready? Are you ready for this? We're gonna find out where you got this picture of me. <laughs> we'll tune in and find out where this picture of <laughs> John Glender came from tonight on Talking Beards. Talking Beards, the podcast. Meet your hosts, Aaron D. Johnston. John Glander. Oh, hey, what's going on, everybody in Talking Beards world? Tonight, uh, we're episode number 327 of the podcast, and uh, we have no plan. Uh, we we kind of developed one before the show while Sean was getting his uh, studio tuned in a little bit. We're going to do trivia tonight, everybody. We are going to do trivia, and we're going to talk to Kyle Waller. Look at this. We even got pictures. Look at this. We're so In case you didn't understand trivia, you can see trivia. Look at that. 2017 oh. Kyle Waller right there. He'll be on the show talking about Shape the Podcast. But that's later on. I'm Aaron D. Johnson. What's up, everybody? Yeah. How's it going, Sean? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm Sean Glander. How are you all doing? Everybody is doing well. We got Jeff Harris. Jeff Harris is saying howdy, y'all. Oh, yeah. Andrew Madsen says, Sean's closet studio looks different. Less color, more pillows. <laughs> Way Kinda. more pillows. L little backwards, I think. Uh, I think he's got more color, less pillows. <laughs> nope, no pillows tonight. We got this lovely lady. Uh, you may I know, know her. her. You all have the same last name. Yes, yes. Jeff I think Ray we're related. Here. Jeff Ray said howdy. Kyle Waller says oh hey. Like really All related. the people. Look at this one. Coffee. <laughs> With OIF Brewer. What's up, guys? What's up? Nice. So, yeah. I want to know what that is. I, we'll find out. What's up, coffee? Uh, Yeah. We don't have a plan tonight. We're just going to kind of wing it. Uh, like we said, Sean was uh, tuning in his studio tonight. It looks really good. And if you watched last week, you see that Sean is in a completely different space, kind of. So, uh, Almost completely kinda. different. Yeah, what well, what's up with your uh, with your space here, Sean? Well, what'd you do this weekend? Well, I I for one, um, you know, shameless plug, I Amazoned the crap out of some stuff, and uh, yeah. Amazon some... loves the plugs from the Talking Beards podcast. They, we, they we do. Bezos, hey, work on work on your shipping, guys. I hope somebody's watching because wow, I'm getting tired of this. Don't don't yell at don't yell at Amazon. We they will <laughs> Next, you know man. nothing. Yeah, no, they wouldn't even dare. I think I have stock but yeah no so we we bought the the little tiny pillows instead of the full sizes and we uh staple them to the wall because the double stick stuff that comes with them does not work don't even try don't even try so this is uh this is actual sound deadening stuff so you're it you're actually, in a, you are in a high-tech studio now i don't even have sound deadening i just have a bunch of just stuff everywhere I, in my life but life stuff which is cool so there's a there's a lot of it sean there's a there lot of it is. i have all this cool like uh, sound deadening and stuff but i got no light we're working on that it, whoa 
Well, for you some got that reason, light? Got light. Why, why did that computer screen pop on? What just happened? I don't even know. My computer screen's still off, so I don't know why everything lightened up real quick. But you hey, got super. We're going to yeah. roll with the punches. Yeah. So, this to answer your question, this is Mike Brewer from the Bearded Respect Show. What's up, Mike Brewer from the Bearded Respect Show? I've been on that show. Y'all have a fine show over there on YouTube. Check them out. The Bearded Respect, only on YouTube, right? That's the only place y'all do this. That that leads me to something else that I saw today while I was on on the line, Sean. Um, I sent you a link to uh, there's a Facebook page for a uh, Streamyard, and it, a lot of time it's it's just a bunch of nonsense. But today I I read that maybe. This is big breaking news, and I literally just thought about this. Um, as of April 22nd, StreamYard might not be able to go to Facebook anymore. Maybe. Yeah. That, yes. I so, uh, yeah, everybody watching the show, if you're a regular watcher of the show, keep that in mind because on April 22nd, we may only be able to do uh, everything but you know, Facebook, so YouTube, Twitch, and and Twitter, because, you know, nobody watches us Why on not? Twitch or Twitter. Those are always our zeros, because we can see our numbers. We, everything's yeah. pretty consistent. Um, but, yeah, Twitter, Twitch, no one ever watches us over there. So, everybody, you might want to uh, follow, like, and subscribe, or whatever you do at YouTube for uh, Talking Beards, because that may be the only place that you can see us as of the 22nd, or who knows, maybe I know StreamYard and Facebook are conversing and stuff and, and trying to get it worked out, but, uh, you know, they'll work it out. Oh, hopefully they work it out. You know, there'll be a lot of money spent between the, the yeah, there will be a lot of money spent. What's up, Jen Parks and, uh, the ghost with the most. Look what I found today. While I was the ghost finally made it. He was late. You see this, Sean? I know what that is. <laughs> that is an ghost unused coaster. coaster. How do you have an unused coaster? Because <laughs> I collect things. I don't know if you know this about me, but I collect all the things. <clears throat> I wouldn't have known by looking around you. I don't hmm. So with that being said, uh, over oh. the weekend, we built these uh, cubby shelves. I should have had a picture up, but we got like right here. Like, so we use this as our living room. And then this is just a corner of the room. Uh, we built these cubby shelves with eight, uh, 11 inch cubbies. And I filled them with Nintendos and PlayStation ones and twos and, a uh, a N64 and a couple different Wii's. Um, and Natalie just filled her cubby with just stuff. There's uh, just random stuff. Just there's board games over there and there's like her things that she usually keeps over by her chair, but now they're in cubbies over here and there's baby Yoda's everywhere. But I think no. I'm going to attach one of these cubby things to this door right here. So like I thought about it where this donut is, right? Right. That's a doorknob. Okay. That's a doorknob. It is a doorknob under there. Look so where the cubby thing is, I can attach it to this door. And I'll just bolt it through the door, and I'm gonna have cubbies on this door, and then the you doorknob totally will have be cubbies. like hidden, kinda. You know what I mean? And so I'm I'm gonna be able to have more of this going on over here, because I need more of this. Because I don't know if you know this, I should do like a tour of this room one day. It all looks like this. <laughs> you should. See this? This isn't just this section. <laughs> and he said just that room. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Room. <laughs> but but yeah. Yeah. We're, it's crazy. I even talk about the rest of the home, but just the room. The room is pretty intense. The whole house is getting that way. It's <laughs> it's it's getting but it all started here. This was the room. Like we didn't the use epicenter. this room when we first moved in. I just kept putting stuff on the walls and like unboxing stuff from my childhood because I have all my things from my childhood. And uh, so I just have boxes and boxes of super cool toys that I just like unearth. And I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all these G.I. Joe action figures or or whatever, whatever I have. But anyway, that's what I got going on. Secret door. And in reality, that door goes to Wonderland. It does. It's a Wonderland of more crap because that's it's it's organized ish crap but it's it's definitely a lot of it sean glander 
it's yeah there it is our house isn't a museum <laughs> thank you andrew wow where i just saw some look at this where did it go freaking Corey. he said he said is that your secret ditty room behind there no it is not in fact a secret ditty room it is a secret room just full of boxes of things but diddy's hiding in there maybe so, i have no I mean, idea I, I don't know. I, I don't know the last time I even opened this door behind me. It's been <laughs> not this year for sure. I haven't done it this year. So uh, what else were we going to do tonight, Sean? What, what else you want to talk about? Well, I don't know. We should definitely talk about some things that are, that are, that are coming up pretty soon, but um, we can, we can get into all the stuff. Let's just go. We could, we can talk about some like comps that people need to be aware of. Most you know? importantly, this one. This one right. for sure. This is this is a good one. Uh, we should get a beard on the rocks banner as well, so we can. I am almost done making it. So yeah, so this is going <laughs> to be coming up May twenty fifth. Uh, I think we've kind of talked about it being Orlando, but it's it's Orlando adjacent, and it's that town in the bottom right corner, Cholula, Florida. Yep, don't know what that is, but it's close to Orlando ish, and, right uh, in that area. It's it's down there. So yeah, I'm staying in Orlando and I'm gonna drive there. But yeah, uh this Cheatham and Sons, his name's Justin. He reached out to us and and super nice guy wanted to put on an event. And and now you can see he's got a charity, he's got a sponsor, the sawmill, and honest I'm just gonna help out sponsorship as well. And it's gonna be right there at the VFW Hall. And it's a talking beards the club event now. So and it's, it's super all, rad. It's all the things. Uh, we're not going to do a raffle. We're not going to do a bunch of auctions. We're just going to have a a basic good time. Three judges, one MC. You know, no no bunch of fluff. We're not. You know, we're going to raise money for for a good charity, but we're we're mainly going down there to put on a good time with some new friends down there in Florida and see what happens. And if it ends up being a good event, then by all means, we're going to uh, do it again next year. So, yeah, East Orlando. There we go. You never know how much interest you're going to drum up by doing this. You I know? mean, I so think, it's it's cool. I, I think it'll be a good time. I know Justin's down there really humping and bumping, getting yeah. getting the local people involved. And, and uh, yeah, I think it'll be a, be a good time. So, if you want to go to Orlando adjacent in uh, – in May, you always should bring a raffle item, Jeff. I that mean, Jeff just... Ray, if if you show up with one of your amazing bowls, I'm sure we'll just figure out a work. way to auction it off or something. So that's up to you. Like I said, we're not we're not going to do raffles. We're not planning on doing auction items. But man, if you know some some big ticket auction items show up, we'll we'll just see what happens. So, hey, Sean, saw you back there. What's up, buddy? Who you see? Uh Sean, uh, uh Spokane Beard and Mustache. You're no, Sean. No, no, no. You're Sean from Spokane. This is another Beard Sean. He spells his name completely wrong and everything, but I we still a great guy. Hey, Jonathan Shields is here. What's up, Jonathan? <clears throat> so uh yeah, we'll we'll just keep going. So what else do we got going on? So we we brought that up. Oh yeah, so this is this is big stuff, Sean, because as you and I both know, and I kind of let it out for all the Talking Beards people to know, we had no plan tonight. And as you can tell, no. we're 15 minutes into the show and still no. have not really gotten rolling. Um, but we did this today, and this is pretty good. If you this know is me, huge. This is huge. We have four weeks of guests booked up. There, there's very like a handful of times this has ever happened, and I've never made an art for it. But here we are. So, yeah, uh, next week our guest will be Nikki Rosola from Rich, but not in Rich. She's down there in Central Texas. And, uh, dude, she, she's just always doing great stuff. She has a huge project she's working on right now, and that's going to be a big focus of next week. But uh, Like April, the size of a house. Huge. Two houses maybe even. Two houses. But yeah, April 16th, we have PJ Charles. Uh, he is, I don't know exactly what his title is. He runs uh, Straight Street Orlando. As you can see, that is the charity 
that we will be benefiting for the uh, first annual Memorial Day weekend beard and mustache bash. So bring him on and, and see his his story, see what he does. I know he's he's had a pretty, pretty amazing ride, would also potentially be a good guest for Shape the Podcast, just saying that. And uh, April 23rd, we have Mark Enstrom coming on uh, to talk about the PopCon Beard and Mustache Championships up there in Indianapolis. And then April 30th, we're going to have the man himself on the show. We'll have Justin Cheatham on the show. He's going to be talking all about the first annual Memorial Day weekend Beard and Mustache Bash. And I know he's got some personal things that we're going to also talk about. And that night, Sean, we're going to be announcing the first judge for this event. So big night. So much. Big so night. Much, John. We actually have plans for those shows, unlike tonight, but that's fine. We'll just keep And they going. all know they're coming on. Like they're confirmed guests. Like we're not just pretending this might happen. I talked to all four of these people today. Four whole people. I agree with you, Duff. 100%. Uh-oh. That's the only way to spell. Can can you not bring up comments, Sean? <laughs> are you are you unable to do so? There you go. Oh, I can't. Sorry. Sean Duff says, "LOL, Sean is the is the right way or American way." Every time yeah. I touch comments, like somebody's doing it at the same time, and they flash right back off. <laughs> uh, well, usually we have Natalie doing yeah. comments, and Natalie's painting right now, so she's she took the night off. That's rad. So that's that's about your your name spelling because well, you and duff know. you and duff have the same spellings so, and so, pretty well, much the same beard basically yeah basically yeah. the same beard yeah. what's up fabs wow fabs is here. needs to work oh oh get you okay sean needs to work mr fabulous what is yeah. happening do work sean do work Dre's i'm nice. trying so do you have a do you have murder cat in there with you or is uh, no no you lock the cat out? I am not sure where where murder cat is, but not in this little room with me. <laughs> Hans and Franz says, agrees that, that is Sean from this is Sean. Okay, because I was really confused. You said something about a Sean, and I scrolled all the way through these comments. I was like, I don't see another Sean. I mean, yeah. I was like, maybe you're seeing something different from me. I don't. Yeah, know. I'm seeing all the real comments. Like that are <laughs> on Sean Glander's page, probably or something. I don't know. Yeah, Fabs is grabbing some some grub. Um, I w so we do not go to Sean Glander's Facebook, but we we could oh. set that up if you do do want. We we are streaming oh. to the Big Sexy Saturday Nights page just because there it was it was it was already in there, and just you know, you do it. Big Sexy Saturday Nights was a thing that you did back during COVID. It and was awesome. Not was quite, a, quite as awesome as Banter and Beards, but it it was uh it didn't it didn't have the the showing that the Banter and Beards did. That's so sure. what what was Big Sexy Saturday Nights about? Do you even remember what were, what yeah. did you do on that show? It was literally tonight, every night. Just this, <laughs> no no script. Just there was nothing. Corey and I just were it. like, here we go. We're gonna do something, and this is what we did. So, what was some of your memorable moments? For we had guests. Guess. I'm yeah. just saying, though, but it, the guests weren't a little bit of it, you know. Memorable nights. Um, I don't know. There was way too many to pick out right now. Way too many. But the so most important great. question right here: Jeff Harris wants to know what is banter and beards, Sean? What is it? What was that show, or what could be that show, or? It still exists. Maybe we'll do it on Tuesday night sometimes. What is Banter and Beards? Banter and Beards was a pretty awesome show that uh, Natalie, Corey, and I did that we brought on some guests. We'd have different topics, and we'd all banter slash argue slash all agree slash, you know. You was, never know what was going to happen depending on the topic. And some of the topics got pretty wild. Some of them were pretty vanilla. <laughs> it's yeah, beards no. that bantered it, it, it thank is true. you john abraham oh yes thank you Fabs. and we talked about that one last week Fabs. let's not let's not forget that episode talking crypto one episode <laughs> and here we go quadruple yes. b yes back bantering beard so yes we will uh we talked about it we we obviously clearly we don't have room for it in the month of may 
because look at that. Look at that. Or guy. April. Um, yeah, we're not so sure that, about May. That's yet. that's April. <laughs> 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 so we don't have any room in the, the month of April for banter beards, but maybe May. There we and go. And we're already kind of discounting May. So we're yeah, not even sure. Maybe what's about June. To Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, I don't know. What else is going on in the comments? Jeff Harris. Yeah. He, then why did you ask? Jeff Harris said, what's well, banter beards? But he knew. He knew what it was. I think he did. He's just messing. He totally. Oh, knew. Natalie knew. said he was being sarcastic. See, I, you know, text messages, Sean. It's hard to pick up sarcasm via text messages. So it is true. Duff it liked true. it, and John Abraham has no idea where he is right now. He 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 thinks it was he's, fun. he's in the moon somewhere. Freaking John, who knows? Man. Anyway, <laughs> so with all that being said, you you want to bring in our guest. We have a guest. Kinda. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I put out that post earlier today. It was like, hey, everybody, you know, if uh, anybody wants to reach out to me and, and give us a show idea, because we're, we've drawn a blank here on episode two of the Sean Glander series. And, uh, we were in transition hit, and weren't ready yet. One, so. one person hit me up. <laughs> and I appreciate that one person because, you know, it's just, it's been a time over here and I've been struggling trying to figure some stuff out. And I feel like today was a pretty, pretty good day. I, I feel like we got some stuff accomplished and, and we're, we're rocking and rolling and we've got episode 327, uh, rolling dash along. dash two of Sean Glander. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do this. We're, we're asterisk start, two asterisk <laughs> two. There we go. Asterisk two of uh, talking beards. Uh, but yeah, so, Kyle Waller sat in with us for a while after after Scott stepped away and we were figuring things out over here, talking beards world. And uh, Kyle Waller helped us out and he's got a great podcast called Shape the Podcast. Um, yeah, all about maintaining mental health. We're gonna we're gonna bring on Kyle Waller because guess what? He has he has a show returning first time in a month. And I heard his first guess isn't that good, but he's going to get the ball rolling. And uh, here he is, uh, host of the Shape the Podcast, Kyle Waller. What's up, buddy? You are muted or something. You remember earlier when we could hear you? That it's was pretty, pretty good. Just because you're wig Kyle. Not going to. Yep. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. That was cool. Remember that earlier, Sean, when we like. Yeah, I, I do. Like, I totally remember hearing that. Everybody's his voice. things worked and we're like, all right, this is going to work real good. How and, how we discussed he just looked like an older version of himself and oh look just, check it out you know, all that stuff yeah we did this because this is 2017 Cal Waller yeah, vintage and I would I would flash it back over to oh he left he just went ahead and kicked himself out obviously having technical difficulties but Cal Waller will return in the meantime he's gone we still got bam. these guys we got these bam patches right here and stickers uh. Ra raising raising money raising money for a totally. uh, uh, member of beer mob tennessee oh bam over there and man he's he's having a hard time so yeah pick up these cool stickers and pack. and patches 20 bucks uh patch and sticker combo yeah toss him a couple more bucks and you know help him with shipping if you want to you don't have to it's not requirement but further ado oh I, I hit the wrong button. Dadgum it. Waller. What's up, Kyle Waller? Can you hear me now? Hey, there you so, are. I, I, I will tell you what happened. All right. What uh, happened? Uh, our friend, you know him, you love him, Scott Turner, tried to call me um, on, on Messenger, you no. know, of course, because that's what he does. And so when he did that, that, that messed up my. It my took out your phone. Then. Yeah. Oh, no. Corey said yeah. that this was just your mime routine, and I think you did a great <laughs> job, Kyle. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Yes. And, and I know, yes. Um, it's been a month, but it feels like it's been forever. But, yes, the Shape Podcast is returning this Friday night um, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on the Talking Bridge Network. All right. That's so right thanks here. to Aaron and Sean now for, for letting me be a part of it. But, uh, yeah, so... I started the podcast back in August and 
Um, at that time, I was going to be the first guest, but I just wasn't ready. Um, and I'm still not ready, but it's now my turn to tell my you, story. You so, you made it your turn. So yeah, you control yeah. that. If you so were this ready, Friday night, you could have Friday just night, not scheduled I will be yourself. the guest on Shape the Podcast. Um, yeah, it's just time for me to talk about you know my story and, and and a give people more light into really why I started the podcast. You know, because my objective on the podcast is to let everybody know that no matter what you're going through, you can take all that and make it into positive. You know, and you might have daily struggles. It's okay as long as you take those daily struggles and you do something better with it the next day. You know, so. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm gonna be on there this Friday talking about my life and and how it all began and where I'm at now. So I'm sure most people have uh, have their own stuff they don't even yes. confront and, yet, and I'm and, sure and, and hearing I that too, would help tremendously. Uh, I too, like Talking Beards, already have a um, some guests lined up, so I'm also ahead of the game there as well. So of Look course, that's trying to be professional like us. I, I am somewhat, yeah, you know, not that professional, but you I am trying to be professional. professional <laughs> you don't I've have never a pictogram of your guests? What's that? You said you don't have a pictogram of your guests? Mm -mm. And this is the I, first I time even, we've we've ever had that as well. Just so I, don't, you know. I don't know how to do that stuff. I'm not 50 that percent of the time I've been here, we've done it. So I don't know what you're talking about. Sean Glander is just bringing a new life to this show. <laughs> 50 percent of the episodes he's been involved with, we've I had like it. four weeks out already booked. So, yep, already turned over new leaf with the, the Sean Glander it's, era of the, of the show. It's amazing. But uh, Andrew said, Am I gonna mirror myself? No, it's just gonna be me on screen by myself. Um, it's gonna look originally, like this. Originally, I was gonna have a um, a host, you know, like a guest host that night, but I um, have since decided, nope, it's just gonna be raw, one hundred percent, you know, um, unedited. That there might be tears, there might not be tears, uh, there might be uh, some drinking of some non-alcoholic beverages, you know. But uh, DP, yeah, yeah it's gonna be. Uh, <clears throat> That's what's going to be, and, and I, I look forward to it. I look forward to uh, um, letting people hear my story. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, um, at the end of my story, if if you feel like you want to come on and you want to be a future guest, by all means, message me. I would love to have anybody on. But, uh, look, Andrew Matson's just getting at me right now. Yeah. I've never, never. He wants to be invited. He would yeah, Andrew love Matson, to you know, be um, I, I would love Andrew Matson to come on and shape the podcast, and I'm gonna have to talk to him about that. You um, should. He's done yeah. an episode of Talking Beards before, so he yes. he knows how to talk on microphones and stuff, and he can be <laughs> professional. So he's been on I mean, Bantering Beards multiple times. He has been on Banter Beards multiple I, times. I hope it comes back. I missed the old Bantering Beards. It was great. It was fun. It was so fun. Banter and Beards I, is is one hundred percent gonna come back. In what shape, form, or fashion, we are unsure, but probably in May. And, we'll, and I, we'll, do we'll remember, I do it remember I do remember Big April. Sexy Saturday Nights with uh, with Sean and Corey. I, I look forward to that show every single night that it was on. It was fantastic. It was pretty wild. It yes, was fun. It was. It I was appreciate crazy. it. I appreciate you watching that. <laughs> what was your favorite part about Big Sexy Saturday Nights, Kyle Waller? I mean, it was off the cuff. You never knew what was going to happen, really, you know? <laughs> Yep, like, Sean Glander just getting up every five minutes to go pee. Well, doing doing the doing the it, podcast from his garage. It really wasn't at Sean his neighbor to worry about. Okay, it was it was more Corey that you had to worry about. Okay, um, you always have to worry about Corey. Even yes. even in the comments, you don't know what Corey's. We're worrying about him right now. We don't even yeah. know what's going to come next. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I I look forward to this Friday night with Shape the Podcast returning. Um, because after this Friday night, the next one will be on the 19th and one of my guests is going to be a guest on your show coming up. Thanks to you. What? Nikki Rizzola is going to be on, on the podcast. Nikki yeah. is going to have a, a busy couple weeks. Yeah. That. She, I, I sent her a message and she said that she's watched it. 
she loves it. She loves it, and that she would be honored to be on air. So, yeah, she's that's super rad. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna go off the guess. cuff, and I'm gonna have uh, people that aren't in the breeding community that that are not known to us that are watching right now. So, that's gonna be different, you know. And that's that's also going to be kind of our focus, kind of moving forward. Everybody knows everybody in the beer community, yeah. and I mean, I did my best here. We we got we got two two of our next four guests are not. I mean, Justin is in the beer community, but he is not like he's about yeah. to. April thirtieth is is Justin kicking the door down of the beer community. He's he's going to let everybody know who he is, and he's done national, so he's not a complete stranger to the world, but. Yeah, that's going to be his introduction, and I'm super excited for it. But yeah, just like you, I'm. Yeah. Let's try to get some new yep. blood in. Yeah, this you know, I've we're had, kicking I've down had, the walls. I've had a couple of guests on from outside of, of the breeding community, and um, two of my guests that are coming up have had major inspiration in my life, and and me making some changes that I needed. So they're going to come on. So I'm excited about that. Um, I tell you, man, I've. Some deep subjects are going to be coming up here soon. Um, so I look forward to that. And I hope everybody, uh, like Aaron and Sean say every single weekend, every single week, go to my page, like, subscribe it, uh, share it out, because I need yeah. more viewers. Um, you do. You need all the viewers because you, you know, you don't have a lot of, you know, you know your your reach and your push isn't that big. But, man, no. like. Your your episodes are top quality. People people get on there and they just spill the beans about their life. And it's, I think that's it's, amazing. it's all about the message uh, for 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 me and, and the podcast. You know, it's all about uh, helping one person at a time know that that no matter what they they're going through, they can make the changes that they need to. So, how far back in your life are you going to go with this podcast? You oh, I'm going I'm birth? going all the way back. I mean, there's going to be stories about me being adopted because I'm adopted. Not that many people know about that breaking news oh, yeah. you're just dropping tidbits about this episode I, now. I did not know that no kyle and, and, waller is adopted you know there, there's gonna be stories about me and my twin uh you know there's gonna be stories about you know just just everything that i went through in my life you know because i went through some pretty hard times in my life uh simply because i made them that way let's just be honest mm -hmm. you know um but yeah it's just gonna be you know i mean yeah i'm gonna go as far back as, as I can, um, and, and some subjects are going to be hard for me to talk about. So, but yeah, I'm, it's going to be it's going to be a pretty heartfelt episode that night um, for me. So, yeah, and I don't I don't want to talk Lay about it too much of it. Because yeah, uh, you, I mean, you can just go ahead and just just do your whole your, thing yeah. right here, mm -mm. And, nope. and we won't even have to do a show on. Friday. Not going to. You have to you have to tune in. We Friday will. Night. We we will definitely tune in, and I think everybody yes. should tune in. And obviously, Andrew knows a lot about you because he said that you're, you know, born West Philadelphia, born and raised. So that would be that would be Nashville, Tennessee, born and raised. Okay. Oh, same thing. <laughs> uh oh, yes. I've never Fabs, seen them both dude. in the same place at the same hey, time. I, I, I think Fabs, fucking around with Fabs and Foghorn should make a comeback. One Fabs and Foghorn. Yes. Uh oh. You'll just you'll just have to do it on a Thursday instead of a Friday. Sorry. Oh, yeah, because you're on Friday now. Yes. You stole their time slot. I stole their time slot and, and, and their night. But, yeah, I would love to have them back on. Yeah, I'd, I'd be down with that. That was It was a good time. Theirs was also very much a big, sexy, yes. Saturday night type show. They, super variety show. They just they just clicked on and started talking. <laughs> they, <laughs> I don't think they, they had any, like, what are we going to talk about tonight? Nope. Like nope. I don't even think Fabs and and Foghorn even knew each other really when they first started doing the show, did they? And and, and oh then yeah, they brought, they, then they had Jeff not Harris really? on there too. Yeah, like barely, not and, like and not like they knew each other now. I'm sure. Uh, exactly. I'm gonna have Jeff Harris back on on the podcast because really, there's a lot that that we did not dive into Can't Jeff worry. Harris's life when it comes to the mental health aspect. So I've. I feel like your Jeff Harris episode was just getting started and then yeah. you just shut it off. <laughs> and, and I'm also going to have Natalie Johnston back on the podcast as well. See, on, later on down the road, but yeah, she'll be on there. See, I, I, they did not know each other when they first started doing that show. They knew of each other and like through online stuff, but they had never even met. And there's like, that is, that is crazy. 
but uh, I did not know that. I guess I knew them all, so I just figured everybody knows each other. So, and David Dragano's here. Most importantly, what's up, David? The Dragon. And and I guess I'm gonna have to make a YouTube page since uh, Streamyard's gonna do with do away with Facebook. You know, I'm not yeah. buying it. I'm so not yeah, it, hey, I'm we'll not see. buying it either. But hey, with that being said, yep. everybody go to the Talking Beards YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And and Kyle Waller's Shape the Podcast goes over there. So it does, you know. Yes. And all the episodes of Talking Cornhole, and uh, <laughs> I think the episode of Talking Crypto is on there, and all it the is. big sexy Saturday night episodes are on there. Anything that you ever, I think, I would say all the Talking Beards episodes are on there, but I think there's a handful that didn't make it on the YouTube that might just be gone or something. Because you should be subscribed to it anyway. Yeah, everybody, everybody, yeah. Should, yeah. You just do should it. Subscribe. Do it. Make us being able to get monetized, and then we'll we'll be millionaires doing yes. Talking Beards. That would be that's, awesome. that's what's going to happen. Speaking Pro- of probably. Yeah. I wonder, besides Andrew Matson, because I know Andrew Matson knows this this answer, but and you, um, you like where I'm, you know where I'm gonna go with this. But when was the first Talking Beards episode? Does anybody know that episode? Besides one? you guys, episode one was the first one. Yeah, but when when it aired? Does anybody know? Right oh, before hell, I don't even know. I, I've got a I've got a pretty good guess. Do you know the exact date? I do, I do not know. Then why did you ask? It's a trivia question, you know. I was gonna, but you're was supposed gonna to know the and... answer if you ask a oh, trivia it's, question. It's it, it not aired... called a trivia question if you don't know the answer. It's it, just it was back a in 2000. Question. It was like, back in 2020 yeah. during COVID. I do know that. Absolutely it correct. Was, it First wasn't. episode of Talking Beards was two thousand. It was September or October of 2018. Our first episode was uh, when Great American was in Richmond. That and was that, our. And was that when Chris was on the show? Yes. It, well, I mean, that was so that, you know, that's how it all started. It yeah. was it was Scott and Chris's idea. It was just Scott and Chris. Yeah. And then they had the idea because Scott had the podcast and Chris had a, a really nice YouTube channel that he quit doing stuff with. But he was really, really good at making YouTube videos. And they're like, we need another person. And then they added me <laughs> and I just sat there for like the first dozen episodes. There you go. My head. There it is. September 8th, 2018 Boom. was the first televised episode of talking beard so a couple weeks before that was the the pilot episode with tyler hill and uh i played the banana song from some comedian and it got pulled off youtube and it's gone forever so might be on chris's computer maybe it was but that was freaking and we don't play the songs no more nope no no, don't no, play no songs. song playing you will get pulled off because that was a big mm-hmm. thing with Fabs and Foghorn with their show because every week I would get a notification from Sony Music or something saying that some sort of copyrighted stuff's been used. I'm like, every week, guys, <laughs> you can't play music. They just didn't get it. <laughs> every week I got the notification after their show from, you know, Fantastic. some sort of music something, you know, RCA or so- someone would flag it almost every Now week. you have to use the music that StreamYard provides because it's made up by a synthesizer. You know, they they have some jams on, they do. on this, like, like uh, acoustic <laughs> cinematic <laughs> and dance pop. Stupid. Most importantly, feeding the ducks. Yes. Yeah, you gotta feed That's the ducks. The best one. I don't know why I landed on this one. I think ducks are awful. Worst <laughs> human beings on earth. All ducks. Fabs. Fabs is down there trying to make excuses. And yeah, stuff. yeah, he is. You know, it was the same notification from the one vi- <laughs> I, I don't know, Fabs. Something's not adding up here, buddy. So Something's <laughs> not quite adding up here. <laughs> right. Well, great. Right. Well, yes. Kyle Waller. Well, hey, th- thank you guys for letting me be on here for a minute. Uh, I'm yeah, gonna dude. let you enjoy the rest of your show. I'm gonna go enjoy some Reds baseball. Go watch right? your baseball. So, roll, roll Tide. Yes. Uh, see you all Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there right here go. on the Talking Bridge Network and the Shape Podcast page. Trying to get back to you. yeah. Go pack. Shape. Go. Shape the podcast.
Friday. What time did you say? Eight o'clock. Sorry. Eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eight p.m. Yes, Eastern. Sir. Check him out. Five right. o'clock. Yeah. Five o'clock specific. Five o'clock standard time. time whatever. Time, yeah. And uh, but most importantly, eight o'clock Eastern time, yes. and that's what everyone in the world goes off of, because New York City and New York Stock Exchange or whatever it is, the Wall Street is Eastern time, so that's what everybody goes off of. Absolutely. And Eastern yes. time. The right time. So, Kyle Waller, go watch your Reds baseball. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. Have a great night. <laughs> yeah, you too, buddy. All right. Well, it's 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 time. We're going to try to do this. We are going to attempt to do this, Sean Glander. We should probably, like, make sure everybody is um, putting their entries in for another competition that goes on for an extended period of time as well. Yes, with that great thinking, you can head yeah. over to thebeardcalendar.com and it's at the top, <coughs> the national online beard competition, raising money for Natalie Johnston and just, you know, bringing good vibes to her. You know, that's, yes. that's the main, that's the main thing. It's, it's more of a good vibes thing than a money thing at this point. So, you know, still donate, do your thing. You know, everybody's going to have a good time there the the event page is back up and running here are all the categories there's a full list they're already adding pictures to the event page oh i actually and, i didn't notice that the the pictures the, the submitted pictures are up all so right. i i'm unsure right so we had we had chris and summer on a few weeks ago and at that point in time they didn't know exactly how they were going to run this contest mm, all we you. do know sean is may 28th i think is the tuesday we're going to be doing a result show so we're yep. already we're already working on may man look at that may we've already got a solid show booked for the 28th we're going to do a result show for the, the uh, this one right here the National Online Beer Competition. Chris Hall is in here. I saw a little comment. There you go. I did. There you go. Yes, they are. They are. They are. Those mm -hmm. are. <clears throat> Jeff Harris says, I actually got Facebook bans comment on What Up Mob Wednesday. Oh, no. <laughs> and I will brush my beard one of these days and submit entry. We appreciate you. Yeah. Post your pictures now yeah. on the competition page per Chris Hall. And there you go. John Abraham says, honestly, everyone is winning by donating and competing. That's true. It's, 100%. It's, it's going to be a good time. They'll, they'll be Just hanging you know, out with your family. You know, <clears throat> that's right. it, dude. That's, <clears throat> that's all this is at this point. It's just a hang out with our family type stuff. But you, you ready to get into this or you want to? I am. Let's, well, let's go. Let's see how this works, everybody. So tonight we're going to do trivia. For the first time in probably like 250 episodes. Yes. Uh, we're going to do it. Yeah. So Talking Beards, <clears throat> the trivia. Um, Yeah. We're going to go for it. We're just going to go. I Googled uh, what I Google random trivia with answers. With answers. So they're not just questions. Correct. Because I, I Googled trivia questions first. And there was no answers. <laughs> so I had to uh, add you the make little. Up your own. I, had, I had, yeah, just make up your own. So is no, nope, everybody... that's not what I have wrote down. <laughs> no, nope. I wrote something else down. So is everybody ready? John Abraham, Corey. So the way this is going to work, we've, we've ran into this, uh, man. Good luck, buddy. I, I, I hope, I hope something lands. I hope it really works out for you. I can only imagine how how long this wait has been for you to go back to work. For sure. <clears throat> but so as the comments roll in, we we will get different views from everybody else. And uh we're just gonna go off of what we see first. What yes. we what we learned before, Sean, is if you are on YouTube, I think your comment shows up before the Facebook people. Well, so, little little trick for everybody. Hey, go, go subscribe. Oh, my gosh. Breaking news. Patrick Dawson. The greatest goatee in the world. Patrick Dawson is here. What's is up, it? dude? 
man, he's got a, a cool venue over there in Eastern Kentucky. Go check him out. Go, go find Patrick Dawson and all the Patrick Dawson places. And is your, is your bar up and running now? Like you, you got bands coming and stuff now, Patrick. I think I'm, I've seen lots of cool pictures of it. It's, it's an amazing venue. So go check it out. It's not called the venue anymore, <clears throat> but okay. let's go. We ready. We ready. Andrew Matson cheats. We all know that. <laughs> Question one. You ready? Go. In what country did the first Starbucks open outside of the United States? Not inside. What? Yeah, not inside the United States. What? In what country did the first Starbucks open outside North America? There it is. No, Kyle Waller, you cheating ass. <laughs> you freaking <laughs> jerk. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> there it is. There it is. The Stargazer Lounge. Patrick yes. Dawson, thank you very much. Yeah, everybody go check that out. So someone answered it. Kyle Waller, you're an idiot. Stu Eggers, Japan, out of left field. Stu. All right. I don't know how many questions we're going to ask, but we'll we'll do at least 10. Stu we'll Eggers be. got that one right, and they are open. So everybody, yeah. At the Stargazer Lounge. Go go check it out, everybody. <laughs> go like, follow, subscribe, <laughs> all the things. Cheating ass. <clears throat> all right. Question number two. What does C O D A stand for? C O D A. C O D A. It's not Circuit of Duh Americas. That's not what it is. And we love you, Scott Turner. Yeah, we love you, Scott Turner. What does C-O-D-A stand for? We have not seen that comment yet, though. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. C-O-D-A. C-O-D-A. Not cash on delivery. <laughs> there it is. No. No. That is not it. There. No. That, damn it. That was right, though, right? Is that not right? It is child of deaf adults. Oh. You're all wrong. No one wins. Yeah. Y'all are all close. But it's... Andrew, Andrew just made stuff up just to be a jerk. There it is. And there. Corey got it. There he goes. Child of deaf adults. Or Sean's dog. Corey or Coda. Oh, that's pretty funny. Pretty funny. I yeah. got it. Yeah. So it's okay. <clears throat> yeah. But still, <laughs> so we got, we got Corey. There we go. Question number three. I'm not doing that one. That one's stupid. Question uh, number three. Where was the declaration of independence, the constitution and the bill of rights stored during world war two? It's a good one. This is not where I thought the question was was going. And no, I didn't know what you were going to say, honestly. <laughs> I didn't either. I didn't read this far. <laughs> where were the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights stored during WW2? There we go. Uh, I saw it pop up twice. Here we go. Brian Phillips. What's up, BP? Fort Knox. Fort Knox. I it's believe old. that's in Germany. Are you being sincere? No. Do you, do you think Fort Knox is in Germany? No. Where Where is Fort Knox? Wow. Not Germany. Not Trivia Germany. question. Where is Fort Knox? <laughs> Sean, you can play with this one. I'll, I'll like... I'll like... <laughs> Oh, you people are saying Kentucky. Damn it. Makes me feel stupid for thinking Tennessee. <laughs> it's Kentucky. Fort Knox is halfway between Hardensburg, Kentucky, and Louisville, Kentucky. I have never been invited there. So, in my defense, like, good job, no Andrew. Said, no one said come have dinner. Hey, just so you know, people also said Tennessee. So, you won. Good. A lot. Look at that. <laughs> Brad, Brad said Knoxville. I mean, that makes sense, but it's wrong. <laughs> so who was that? Did Damn it! That one? Damn it! That's probably the correlation I was making. Brad. Maybe you said Germany, Sean. <laughs> oh, that yeah. 
Yeah. That wasn't correct. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't even know this. Question number oh, great. five. What is the tiny piece at the end of a shoelace called? Hmm. I've heard of this. Close. You were close. What is the tiny piece at the end of the shoelace called? I would think the little, the little. So that's what I thought. You, the, the spellings are all over the place, but this is, this is, I thought the same thing Natalie thought, but it, it's not. Weenus? It's not Weenus either. Little known fact. So this has it listed as an aglet. With an A? With an A. Hmm. So we got Corey with an eyelet, and we got Andrew with an eaglet. So I think Matt Sherwood wins. The shirt nipple? Yeah. <laughs> That's not right. He said nipple twice. Because <laughs> he was pretty sure of himself. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll give it to Andrew. Andrew's freaking there it is. So, Shut up, yeah. Kyle. Um, <laughs> mm. I mean, Kyle's the first person to say it right. We'll skip that one. That one was dumb. Yeah. You all lost. Skipped. Because no one even spelled it right but Kyle Waller. So we'll skip it. All right. This is a good one. I like this mm -hmm. one. This is, a, this is a solid one right here. I believe you. Which company slogan is, you're in good hands? I know this one. So yeah, I'll see too. the answer. Yeah, this is this is good. So maybe that could be some trivia questions. Like we could do like slogans. Slogans would be rat. Or, or like, one thing I like that we've done is <clears throat> like, logos with like the name off of it oh wow I think that's cool everyone popped through with this one all at once i don't even yeah know. and like seven came through before the one i saw there is Stu, barely i think like Stu, melissa and bps all showed up at the exact same it time. was crazy like that so fast that <laughs> Stu, yours is the first one that showed up on ours so i don't know who in the world actually typed it out first but that was Sweet Tea's here. <laughs> Sweet Tea, breaking news. What up, girl? <clears throat> on right. YouTube. She's on barely. What's up? Uh, all right. This is a good one as well, I think. Question number right. something. Who was the first televised president? Hmm. Hmm. Did not I don't know, know this one. one. I have a guess. This is question number six. <clears throat> Corey's calling his lawyer. No. I'm just clicking stuff now. I'm not meaning to. Okay. Is any of those the answer? No. No. Mm -hmm. I think it starts with a C. You would be incorrect. Then I don't know. I'm also going to call. Oh, I see. Lawyer. I see. Never mind. Some people put initials. Hold on. Oh, my Lord. Please tell me. Please tell me. It's not FTR. It is. I, I did. I think it was the first guess. Yeah. Here it is. Hold on. I was looking for the name. I wasn't looking for initials. But, yeah. Stu. I was going cool. with the Carter, Melissa. <laughs> Yep, there it is. FDR. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the first president on television. Look at you, Stu. All right. Question number seven. <clears throat> Trivia huh. master. Pocahontas was baptized and given what English name? Question number seven. Stu for president. I think it's Elizabeth. <clears throat> it is not. Natalie knew it. She's wild knowing these things. Natalie has rejoined the chat. She's in here. BP, I, I, I know, man. I, I'm sure you got it before him, but that's just the way, way it pops up on our screen. Uh, Don Shea. Rebecca 
Oh, is that it? That's it. I'll be darn. <laughs> Elvira. Good job, Matt Sherwood. I like it. <laughs> Don't Shay. That was All my right. second guess. <laughs> so, BP, um, YouTube. I don't know if you heard that earlier. YouTube comes in faster than Facebook. Little, little trivia, StreamYard, uh, something, cheat, hack, whatever. That's how Andrew used to beat everybody. <laughs> cheat, hack, that works. All right. Uh, get turbo. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. Everybody get ready. Originally, Amazon only sold what kind of product? Tissues. Incorrect. Amazon originally sold what product? Stock. It is books. It's really? coming through like a thousand of them in at once. Let's just scroll back to the top. Freaking stew, man. Books. Where, like, where are you watching, Stu? Just curious. Like a Kindle. I see you're on Facebook, but... Exactly. That's why they came out with the Kindle, Stu. All right. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Jack Martin is on YouTube. What's up, Jack Martin? From home, you goof. I meant which Facebook page, you silly. <laughs> Who painted the Mona Lisa? Question number nine. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Yes, Bradley, we see you. We see you, Bradley. And you're answering all the questions so good, they're just coming in like, but who painted the Mona Lisa? All right. Dang. <laughs> Do we can stew, man. We can't have a winner, right? Like I know. I think I think that pretty well wraps it up. Yeah. I mean, you misspelled it. So are we are we going are we going with spelling, Natalie? Oh. Oh, she said no. She said we're all right. Okay. So the boss said we're cool. <clears throat> Producer Natalie said we are good to go. We're going to go ahead and do question number 10 just, just for fun because I like this one. <clears throat> question number 10. And uh, Stu's pretty well already won. So uh, question number 10. Who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize in 1903? 1903. Yeah. Who was the first woman? Was not he's nuts. It was not <laughs> he's nuts. You know, for all right. Stu, Stu just made everybody look crazy. Sweet tea, you should have known that. You've only answered that question nine thousand times in your life, but it was Marie Curie. So there you go. That's it. It was. It was who put Dolly Madison, Helen Keller, Aunt Jemima, uh, Fanny May, Curie. Fannie Mae. Famous shout out. What's up? So yeah, that was it. We we did it. We figured out trivia. Maybe next time we do trivia, we'll, you know, we'll have a category or something. But we just, you know, we, we're just getting our bearings. It was like a whole new show here, everybody. And we're 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 figuring it out. But yeah, congratulations to Stu Eggert. Uh, we're just Eggert, having fun. And we you are uh we're going to send you some stuff, some Honest Amish beard care products and some big, sexy beard brand products as well. Oh, because I'm sure that you do not have enough beard products in your house, <laughs> Stu. But, you know, when you got a 9000 foot beard, you know, you yeah. need a lot of products. And I'm sure you go through a lot of them. Stu also uh, typed in trivia, there. trivia questions with answers into Google. Probably. Because it was the first one. <laughs> Wasn't hard because I told everybody what I typed in. Didn't think about that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, whatever. I won't give out my secrets next time. <laughs> We're going to start off by telling you where to find the answers to these. Yeah, my bad. You know. Sometimes we don't think about these things, Sean. Like I said, we're still figuring out what we're doing. But, uh, oh, mullet update. Oh, look at that going. Oh, boy. Can't see. Can see we have almost officially hit the Ace Ventura link. It's okay. getting there. I mean, I can I can probably pull it back in the tiniest little ponytail. But yeah, mullet, mullet update. 
Thank, thanks, Justin. So that's it. Do we have anything else we need to add in here, Sean? What else? Not that I can think of. I think we mentioned we everything we wanted to. This is coming up this weekend. Oh, yeah. We, we talked about this. This is uh right. April 6th, Swan Lake Resort, Plymouth, Indiana, Clash of the Be Whiskered Round 2. It's at an extremely fancy place. Everybody dress up and go to it. It is benefiting the Marshall County DAV. And uh, yeah, should be a good time. Sorry, sorry we're not making it, but everybody go. Go check that one out. It'll be uh, a good event. Spay and neuter your kids. I mean, pets. Tune in next week to see what else I've changed in this closet. Speaking of ducks, man, I, I'm I'm enjoying this your your closet, <laughs> you know, journey. I, are you going to repaint it? Are you going to repaint it every week no. and get brand new <laughs> foam <laughs> things? Like each week, it's just going to be a different color. No, um, I mean that could happen. There is. I used stuff. to do that with this, but then it just ended up staying on the same. Right. Some color. You're a floating. The cat got to the rest of them. And no, the I just don't know where they're at. <laughs> it goes to the whole. Here. Hold on. <gasps> Look at that. I just quit rotating them. That's all. But uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Love you, sweet tea. She's she's saying, hey, she said hi, Natalie. But uh, I don't we'll know. See you all next week. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching, checking us out. Uh, for Aaron D. Johnson and the the floating head, Sean Glander. That's me. <laughs> Everybody, have a great night. And uh, yeah, congratulations, Stu, on winning trivia. First time in a long time. And, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll get you better. killed it. I promise. Everybody, have a great night. Be well. Okay, bye. <laughs>